Hello, this is Grace Winura for Horse Pro, the channel dedicated to empowering the amateur horse enthusiast and supporting the budding professional. Today, we're filming from a lovely farm down in Wellington, Florida, enjoying the wonderful weather. But our topic today is a little bit serious. It is about barn drama. A question came in for me, and I was going to cover this on a Q&A Friday, but I think it's a really important topic that we discuss actually before that. I'm just trying to show you some of the lovely, uh, lovely natural uh, flora that is in the area I'm at today. Um, I love it because it's very genuine and it's very authentic and organic. I will be doing a video here uh, based on homeopathy and uh, holistic uh, transcendence with your horse. But today's topic is serious. It is about barn drama. I'm talking about the person, whether it is uh, a stable uh, uh, mate of yours in the barn, who is a passive aggressive complainer. And by this I mean, if board goes up by $20, rather than face the barn owner about it, they complain when no one's around to individuals, or they complain to children to try to impact their their knowledge in terms of, well, you know, did you see that the board went up $20? What are they thinking? You know, those barn owners, they, uh, they end up... Uh, uh, going, uh, you know, to dinner here and there. How can they afford that? Well, you know, why are we paying for that? Or, oh my gosh, you know, that new client with three horses. Um, why, you know, they get special treatment. Well, my lesson was cut by 15 minutes because the people with three horses are obviously more important than me. Um, so I'm talking about gossipers. And I'm talking about backstabbing gossipers that really do it in a way to make themselves feel important and to make their own self-worth raise itself in their own eyes. So there are people who make other people feel small to feel better about themselves. They're coming from a space of lack. They feel lack or unworthiness in themselves rather than raise their vibration, rather than raise their elemental state to one of happiness and being happy with what they can afford, they compare themselves and out of jealousy, envy, guised in a very caring fashion, they'll make some backstabbing comments. And sometimes it's about a professional, sometimes it's about a fellow a stable mate. And professionals are not without blame in this. I know many and have known many, and this is a really sad thing, that love to gossip, that say, hey, have you heard the news? They love to hear about other people's failures, about, you know, did you hear so-and-so lost that big client? Oh my goodness. And they almost revel in it. You know, the soap operatic day, they almost revel in the fact that people have experienced either a negative uh, outcome in their business, and I'm not talking serious in terms of a stable burning down or something really tragic. These aren't terrible people in, in, in a sense. They're not wishing horrific things upon others, but they do enjoy the drama that seems to surround the horse industry. They delight in carrying gossip. Well, I'll tell you what, stop it. If you're one of these people, if you've been one of these people, if you were a child growing up and you have people in your stable like this, if you're an adult, you know, spreading gossip or, or complaining, and if you're a complainer and not going to the source and dealing with it, then you are really contributing to the problem of barn drama. Barn drama needs to stop. Everyone involved in horses who has a horse, who can afford to ride, it lives in a very prosperous and abundant life. Be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you do in a day. If you are coming from a feeling of lack, if you feel jealousy and envy, work on it. Don't bring yourself down to a level where you carry gossip, you revel in it, you go from one to another. If you feel important because people listen to you when you gossip, I'm telling you, it's false. They're not, that isn't, that isn't like, that isn't, that isn't showing any kind of desire to be with you. That's just other people delighting in the negative. So why? Why delight in the negative? Why be part of that? Why not come from a place of abundance? Why not come from a place of gratitude where you can enjoy the day, you can enjoy your horse? 
if you have a complaint about a stable owner, if you have a complaint about another person in the stable, if you feel you're not receiving the lessons you deserve because of another, go to your trainer, talk to them, talk to the stable owner if that's who is your trainer and deal with the issues. You will feel way better. If you hear gossip, why not just say, well, you know, that's lovely, um, but deflect it, don't give it any credence and move on. Watch TV if you want drama. Go to Netflix. Go to a soap opera. You don't need to carry tales. You don't need to do any of that. That just brings you down. If, if you're a stable owner that you love to know these things about other people, again, it's a lack of. Your feeling of unworth, your feeling of not um, aspiring, work on that. Be better. But as humans, why carry tales? So again, barn drama. It has no place. And if you are a stable who has barn drama, deal with it. Sit your clients down. Say you will not countenance it. Get rid of the people who are negative in your life. If you are at a stable where there's a ton of barn drama and you complain about it, you're part of the problem. Either go to the top and complain to those in authority or leave. You have choices, people. But again, barn drama negative negative in your life negative around horses negative for the sport be grateful live in abundance this is grace when you're up for horse pro if you found any of this information to be of any value please 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 press the subscribe button coming to you from wellington florida i'll see you tomorrow